The Belgian Melinora or Doberman, or a Doberman Pinscher, both are excellent guard dogs. Doberman, with its obedience and trainability, is really very intelligent and reliable dog. The Belgian Melinor is an excellent livestock and property guardian, very intelligent and dedicated to his family and duties. To find out which dog is better for you, let's compare them and find out who will win the battle. The first trait to compare is intelligence. The Belgian Melinor and Doberman both are intelligent and obedient dogs. Coming out from their intelligence and obedience, their training is easy. Both of them are successful in police and military services. In this case, my first call for intelligence goes to each. The next trait is personality. Doberman is very loyal, loving, and fearless, but not so much friendly with strangers. Dobermans are working dogs and they need to be occupied most of the time. With right training and socialization, Doberman is very friendly and well-bred dog. Doberman bonds with one owner. The Belgian Melinor is an alert, well-built dog. It strongly bonds with its owner. It's very energetic and can spend hours exercising. Previously, they used to hurt livestock. Today, they are excellent guard dogs. My second score for personality goes to each. And what is the next trait to compare? Tolerance. Doberman can't stand loneliness for a long time. They may develop separation anxiety. They prefer to be around their beloved owners. As for Melinor, it does not like loneliness and he may also develop separation anxiety too. My third score for tolerance goes to none of them. The next thing to know is exercise. Both are working high-energy dogs. They need daily exercise and mental stimulation. If they don't get their daily portion of exercise, they may become destructive and annoying. But Doberman sometimes may become a couch potato while Melinor wants to be active all the time and needs more exercise. My first call for exercise goes to Doberman. And the next is Grominets. Doberman has short and thick double coat and sheds moderately. The Belgian Melinor sheds moderately too. In this case, my fifth score for grooming goes to each. The next thing to know about these dogs is socialization. Doberman is not very friendly to strangers, but with proper socialization, this issue can be tackled. The situation is the same with the Belgian Melinor, who is not friendly with strangers or pets, but socialization will improve it. In this case, my sixth score for socialization goes to each. And now, very important, pretty instincts. Fighting and protection instincts are high in both dogs. Herding instinct is high in Melinor and below average in Doberman. Prey drive instinct is average in Doberman and high in Melinor dog. Hunting instinct is below average in both dogs. My seventh score for instincts goes to the Melinor. And now let's compare bite force. Belgian Melinor's bite force is 195 psi. Doberman's bite force is 305 psi. My eighth score for the bite force goes to Doberman. Next is size comparison. Doberman's height is 66, 72 centimeters at the shoulder and weighs 40, 45 kilos. The Belgian Melinor's height is 55, 66 centimeters at the shoulder and weighs 74, 43 kilos. My nice score goes to Doberman. Now, lifespan. Doberman's lifespan is 10, 13 years. The Belgian Melinor lives 10, 14 years. My 10th score for lifespan goes to the Belgian Melinor. And now, health. Doberman has some health issues like bloat, dilated cardiomyelopathy, hip dysplasia, hypothyroidism, and progressive retinal atrophy. The Belgian Melinor is a healthy dog in general. The biggest health issue it may have is eye-related problem. My 11th score for health goes to the Belgian Melinor. In the end, it is time to announce the winner, but we don't have a winner in this video. Both dogs got equal scores. We compare these two dogs' traits to make it easier for you to decide which dog is better for you. As you can see, both dogs are intelligent and dedicated guard dogs, who can be excellent companions if socialized and properly trained. And which one is better for you, it is up to you to decide. Hope you found my video informative. Please don't forget to hit like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.